Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with our next topic where we'll see the basic commands in a Linux system. So let's say if I want to show or read something or throw some message out of it. Let's say if I want to say, hello, how are you? Okay, so if I want to say this message, I will type like this echo and then whatever I want, I can just put it there. So it will be like this. So this is your command here. So let's execute this first so that you get an idea about the output. So here you can see that this is your command. Let's say that echo Good morning, Raj, and double quotes close. So you can see that I need to start with a double quote and I need to end in a double quote. And you can see the, let's take one more example that so the command is echo put double quotes and in that command you can mention that today is the final match for FIFA World Cup 2014 and if you just press enter you will see the message how it comes so Basically, whatever you want to see or show, you can just write this command echo and put the two double quotes, starting quote, ending quote, and just put whatever you want in that. So let's see this. This is your command here. Okay, so let's note down this command here first. So this is your command and this is the command name okay in this command you can see that there is one starting code there is one ending code and whatever you want to write or show you can just put within this so whatever anything can be written here so just to recap this command echo double quote and just write whatever you want to give message and that's it press enter so this is the first command that i wanted to share with you is echo means it will echo the message on the output Okay, so that is about the echoing of message. Then let's say that when you are working on a system, there is one command called clear command. Okay, so you might be knowing that in Windows you have the CLS command, but in Unix it is clear command. So whatever is there on the screen, you will see that there is a, it is cleared from here. You have so much of lines there and the moment you type C L E A R clear you will get a blank screen. Okay, so that is about the clear command. Then now let's say that you have logged into the system and you are not sure what is your ID. So you can type a command called who am I? Okay, so what this command will do is it will give you the information about your user ID. Okay, so what with what user ID you have logged in, it will provide this information. Okay, so the, this is the your user ID with which you logged in. Okay, there is other variant for this command is let's say who. So this will tell the information about 
the details like what is your user ID, what is your terminal, from which system you are connected, so all that information will be seen here. Okay, so that is about the who command. Then let's say that while working on a system, you are not sure in which time zone you are in or what is the current time, then what you can do is you can type this command called date command and this command will give you the information about what is today's date. You can see this format, there is a way to change this. I won't share it in this basic commands training, but we will be seeing in our subsequent training how we can tweak this date in different formats that we want. Okay, so that is about the date command. Then there is one extremely important command is, let's say that you are working on a system and you want to see how to use a particular command. And this is going to be a very important command because whether you are a newbie, whether you are a beginner, whether you are an expert, there are times when you need to see the syntax, whether you need to see the different options available in a command. So let's see the options which is available in, say, the date command. Okay, so we type like this, man means we want to see the manual page and the command name for which you want to see the manual page. Okay, so just type enter, man date, then enter, and you will see that information about the what is this what this command will do what all the different options that can be used with this command and different formats okay you can see these are the different options there could be chances you will see some of the examples of how to use this command okay so that helps for people who want to explore the different options to see how better I can use this particular command. Okay, so that's where I will stop for now. So just to recap what we have done, we have seen the command called an echo command. Okay, then we have seen the command that is, so first command that we have seen is echo command. So this command is for throwing the output on your terminal on your screen. Okay, let's go back. The other command that we have seen is the clear command. Okay, so the clear command is used for, this is the command for clearing your screen. Then we have seen a command called who am I? This is a single word. It will tell with which user you have logged in into the system. We have seen a command called who command. This will tell information about what is your user ID, what is your terminal ID, Okay, then we have seen a command called a date command. Take note that Unix or Linux, anything, they are case sensitive. So if you use any of the letters in capital, this command will not work. So that is extremely important. Whenever you are working on a Linux or a Unix based environment, they are case sensitive. Okay, so the next command that we have seen is the man command. So this stands for the manual page for a particular command. So that is pretty much I wanted to touch base on this basic commands topic. We will be seeing a lot of commands because Unix is full of commands and we will see them how to use use them and how we can practice them and master them. Okay, for now we will stop here. Thank you for joining me and have a nice day. Bye-bye.